we're going to uh, make this simple for you. Hey guys and gals, welcome to Sweet Project Cars with cool, trick, and affordable ways for the do-it-yourselfer and, wait for it, simple ways. Today we are going to share with you our new way of making our customers rims and wheels look beautiful for weeks and weeks and weeks. Follow along, you're going to love this. Not only are we going to put a tire shine on this, you can do it so if you don't like the shine, you can do it so it's more of a matte color. But we like the shine, so we always go for the shine. And the cool part of this is, is it again, lasts for weeks and weeks and weeks. And there's no sling and you get protection, UV protection from this. It's the only one we know on the market where you can actually get UV protection from the sun, from dry rotting and cracking by using the tire shine. You'll never have your wheels look any more beautiful than they're going to look today. So let's get busy. Julio, tell everybody where all the tools and products are located. Thank you, Julio Cesar Chavez Rodriguez Jorge. Again, he's probably going to add another name. I don't know what it'll be, but anyhow. We're going to uh, make this simple for you. A non-caustic. We found it not to be caustic, but it's amazing. It's a 303 wheel and tire cleaner. You just spray it on. Your wheels and tires will never look so good. We do the whole wheel. Tire and rim. And it smells really good. We started using this on all the bikes in our Sweet Scoots YouTube channel. When your tires are this brown, you can see how much brown is coming off of them. You want to use a brush. We use a soft one when it comes to the wheel. And we use a stiff brush for the tire. And we like to, like I said, leave it on two minutes. And this is for the really finicky person who likes beautiful tires and likes them to last for years. And the nice thing about this, you only have to do the uh, cleaner probably once every six months or so. The rest of the time you can just use the uh, conditioner and protectant. And again, you better go get this stuff while you can because it'll be sold out in a matter of minutes. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's dry, because I did the other side, and that tire was actually in worse shape than this one. Nice thing about Florida, you're almost, uh, doing this with hot water because it doesn't take long for the hose to get hot so kind of like steam cleaning it with with uh, hot water and we do use the steam cleaner for doing tires as well for those who really 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 want their tires clean we use the best steam cleaner on the market and it works great it strips everything off with this for the average DIYer that wants the most beautiful tires, this is it. We'll let that dry. All right, we waited till it became dry. Now we're going to add the best tire shine and protectant all in one right here. And I'll show you what the matte finish looks like here in a second. We put it on heavy and let it run off you want to do it on a cool tire not in the sun we can't do much about that here in florida sunshine state no let's go look at the matte finish this will be really shiny let's go look at that one that's the matte finish and you achieve that if you don't like the shine with this right here the tire balm and protectant and if you put more coats of it on, it'll get shinier and shinier and shinier. But if you want shiny, just use the tire shine. All right, there's the tire shine. It's all done. 
and you want to wait about 15 minutes or so before you drive that uh, minimizes sling but that tire is going to be beautiful and we'll, we'll wait, wait till all the runs come off and uh, wipe it down with a microfiber mm -hmm. 